TV. Bring it on. What the? Maybe you're pressing the wrong button. It's not working. Maybe the TV's broken. Watch your mouth, kid. It can hear you. I think she's right, honey. There's nothing we can do if the TV's broken. We're just gonna have to find something else to do to pass the time. But what else is there besides watching TV? Hmm. I know. We should do what they used to do before the invention of TV. Hunt dinosaurs? No, silly. We should tell each other folk tales. I'd rather hunt dinosaurs. Now, if we're gonna do this, we're gonna do it right. Mama? Mama! Oh, calm down. I'm just setting the mood. Oh, yeah. I knew that. So what kind of story do you want? Sunshine and meatballs? Or creepy bunko? <laughs> creepy, creepy, creepy. Creepy, you say? Then creepy it is. <laughs> Mama, is that still you? Sunshine and meatballs. Phew. Creepy bunko. <laughs> This story is one of my all-time favorites. It's entitled, The Arms That Wouldn't Quit. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful man who loved his body. Boy, do I love my body. Mm-hmm, it's like too much heaven. Every day, the man would begin his morning workout doing dumbbell curls. Man, I'm good. But this was no ordinary day. Unfortunately, the man became so mesmerized by the sweeping motion of his arm that he kept on going. Wow, I think I'm jealous of myself. The motion was so hypnotic, it eventually put the poor man to sleep. 